Hi, this is PDF Bergsberg Arcade at bergsbergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 213. Now, I want to start this one off by making one quick change to one of our scripts, and that's in our main menu script. Uh, we have this public constant up here where we're setting the version number. I actually want to take that and move it to my game settings now, and I'm just going to throw it at the very top. And I want to increase that just a bit. Uh, the reason why I'm even showing this is because I was getting ready to make a, uh, a web build. And I realized that I had my version information in the main menu. And I didn't want that. I wanted it in my game settings because it is a, a constant that I, I might want to access from other scripts. So... Let's go ahead and fix any of the errors that show up because of that change. Uh, there shouldn't be that many, probably one at most. Uh, let's just clear it. And right here. And we'll just make the change here. Game settings 2 dot version. We'll see what other ones come up. And again, game settings 2 dot version. And we have another one down here. Uh, let's see what else we're using it. And another one right here. fix that and that appears to be all of them so let's go ahead and start the game back up and we have a blank screen so let's look down in our debug log uh, there's a version key the save version key is not the same as the current version and actually that's where we're going to be adding the code to upgrade our character based on you know what happened between you know version that we had before this and the version that they're currently on uh, right now, all I'm going to do is just send them off to the character generation scene. Uh, there's no point in trying to upgrade their character. There's going to be a ton of changes from now on. Uh, so I'm just going to make them remake their character. So let's save that off. We'll start it back up. Uh, shrink this down a bit. Uh, we'll start it back up. And it did bring them right there. I actually want to clear the console. Start it back up. And I still don't quite have enough room for all of um, my my display. I guess technically I could just get rid of this console down here, but I do like being able to see what's there. Uh, so the level's ready. Level can be streamed. Uh, what's this? Uh, PC empty. Great. Let's fix that while we're here too. Since you knew. So it's grabbing a PC empty that's in the character generation scene. Uh, we're just going to get rid of that. We shouldn't need it anymore. So let's just go ahead, right click and well, delete it. Uh, main camera, it's going to be looking for the player prefab. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the script and it's going to be a public player prefab let's see if we're actually using this anywhere in the script and if so let's get rid of it that's what i thought we're not actually using it anymore so i'm just going to comment this out it should disappear over here as well there we go i'm going to go back to my main menu and we'll just start all over make sure you save the scene and we'll start it up and i didn't go back to my main menu I am in main menu, sorry, it just automatically brought me over. So I'm going to hit clear, start. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my console. So there's a key, the version number was not the same, uh, level ready, it levels ready to be streamed. It's creating a new instance of our PC, which you can't see in behind because we have this GUI in the way. So he's just falling into eternity out there if you actually looked at him. Uh, but that's fine. I guess technically we could uh, lock his uh, or take off the 
uh, character controller. Uh, but I'm not too worried at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and I actually don't have enough room to work on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go full screen. There we go. And I'll still get my error messages. It's just I can only see the last one that's come up. And let's go ahead and increase his constitution to 120. We'll hit next. And I'm in this scene. And if you click on the console, it will bring it up for you. Uh, nothing there. And everything else should be fine from here on out. So go through the skin colors. I'm going with blonde hair. Make them short. And skinny. Let's hit next. And ta da. So let's stop that off. We'll do one more quick look at our console here. And that seems to be all the fixes we need to actually get it up and running. And while we're here, we're actually going to want to make sure that we're actually saving the update of our version. Uh, so I've gone ahead into my character customization scene. Basically, you want the last scene before you actually enter the world. So where you're saving off, saving off the last you know, edits for the character data. So I'm gonna go into Mono Develop and that's my player model customization script. And if we come down here to where we're saving everything, I'm gonna to wanna to save the version as well. Now I'm not sure if I actually have a um, way of saving that version. Uh, to be honest, let's check to see how we're checking that version again. Uh, so we are saving it in player prefs. Let me just take a look at the rest of those keys. because I can move it out of this script here and put it into our game settings. So it's much easier for all of our scripts to access uh, the version number. So it looks like the key was called ver. And we have three instances of it. I'm going to go up to the top and look. Uh, so the first one's here is checking to see if we have it. And if it does, then we look for, we get the float. And then we do the comparison. And uh, we're on the second one. Okay. The third one. Uh, here's where we're setting the float. So this is uh, where we're checking to see if they have no name. So I'm actually going to copy this line into our game settings too. So I'm going to come up here. Uh, I do want to make it a private constant, but I don't want to put it in with that. So I'm going to keep it with the actual version. And I'll put it right above it. So private const string. And... I'm just going to call it version number. And that's just going to be equal to, I'm not going to bother changing what the string actually is. I'm just going to keep it the same. And if we go back into the script, I'm just going to cut and paste this whole line in. We'll come back over to game settings too. And I'm just going to come down to the bottom to add this. Not completely the bottom right here so public static uh, does not return anything and I'm gonna say save uh, let's call it save game version and I'm not gonna pass it anything since well now nah, we don't need to pass it anything at the current moment so we won't And we'll also uh, center it better. And now we don't need the game version 2 in front of it. And we'll just copy this line into our main menu. So we should be able to go... Uh, I forgot the game settings part. Game settings 2 dot save game version 
and we can get rid of that line now and let's take a look we have quite a few that are actually loading it up and I'll want to change those too but for now let's just keep going through let's go to the one above it okay actually while we're here we might as well do it we're here right so public static uh, this is going to return a float and I'm going to call it load game version it's not accepting any parameters but it will return actually we can just go in and grab one of these and I'm just going to copy and paste and I'm going to add a default here of zero and I'm going to switch from using our typed in string to using the constant we created up top uh, which was game version I thought uh, we'll just take a look it's at the very top version number so we'll just come down and go version number whoops I wanted version number okay so now we can just actually call this function uh, right here And I'm actually going to go through and replace it. So we'll go down to the next one. And again, uh, we're setting the float, so we're actually saving it here. So game settings uh, to dot save game version. And we'll go down to the next one. And we're saving here again. Game settings two dot save game version. And we'll do one more. And it's right here where we're loading. Oh, sorry, we're checking to actually see if it has the key. I'm going to leave that there and I'm just going to change the string that it's looking for to be game settings two dot version I'm sorry it's the version key it's looking for so we are going to make that public which is fine and I'm going to change version to version number And version number, oh, we're going to change the version key. Oops, wrong button. Or version key name. And we can come back into our main menu. Version key name. Uh, we'll save that off. We'll go take a look, see if we have any errors in Unity. And we'll just take a look at the first error here. Yeah, already contains a deficient. So let's take a look here. Uh, we actually renamed everything. This was supposed to be version number. I just refactored in the wrong order. Now that's actually probably going to affect quite a few things. I wonder if I can just undo that. Yeah. So I've undone quite a bit here and the reason is because when I refactored this to be version number it went through all my scripts and switched version to version number uh, but then that was equal to the this variable as well and when I refactored uh, this constant name since it was the same it apparently went ahead and 
did all the ones that were floats as well. I thought they would tell the difference between a string and a float, but apparently not, which is okay. We'll just do another rename here. That one's done. And we'll just rename here again. And I'm just going to shrink this down just a bit. And we'll save it off and see what errors we have next. <laughs> All right, so there's the first one. So we're setting a float here, and it looks like uh, that little full pile might cause quite a few errors here. Uh, just remember to get your version key name first and your version number next when you're saving and also when you're loading. Well, at least now we only have two functions that load oh, that we have to look at that handle the loading and saving as opposed to when we had it in the main menu we had quite a few lines that were doing that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, load game version does not exist in the current context. And we forgot our game setting 2. And let's see. Um, we got one here where it cannot compare a float to a string. So let me just take a quick look here. So we're loading up the game version. So this is going to return a number. And we're comparing it to the version key name, which is not what we want. Apparently that refactoring did a little bit more trouble or damage than I thought. There we go. What's next? All right, it says it's done. So I'm going to go back up to my main menu scene. I'm going to hit play and it did bring me in and I forgot the whole point of this was to actually save it in my uh, character customization scene. I believe I still have that script open. Yeah, player model customization and I want to save it right down here. So game settings to dot save game version. I'm going to put a space there because I know I want that to be the very last thing I do. Now, of course, I'm not doing any check here to see if the game version really needs to be resaved. So if the player already has the current version, uh, we can do that quick check. The check is actually quicker than the save. So, well, I'll tell you what, it's pretty late now at night, so I'm just going to leave it like this. If you want, you can throw an if block in here to do a comparison. I'm just going to save it for now and go back to the main menu uh, I'm just going to delete all keys and we'll just start it up it should bring me into this scene make my character do the standard 120 health <laughs> and then we'll just hit the next button and blonde hair Something with a little bit of facial. <laughs> well, I've never seen this mustache with blonde hair before. We'll keep it. I need black hair this time though. And of course, short and fat. I forgot to change the skin color, but that's fine. Okay, apparently I've got to take a look at that hairstyle. Uh, it's not hooking up right, but I'll do that after. Um, let's restart it and make sure that the clear prefs is done. And I get my option to either load or delete. Uh, I've got a white background now because my web page is white. I'm just going to load the character, and there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> fix that hair. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and favorite it. Thank you.